hey guys welcome back to my channel and hello again aquarius Alrighty, today we are doing your first july 2022 career and money reading let me turn the camera and let's read together hopefully everybody is doing great 10 cards aquarius beginning with a 10 of coins okay looking to break down elements of a goal or a question into what why how and when where and with whom and so how do we make more money at the career that we are at how do we find the best promotion path how do we achieve success with a business idea these will be our scenarios so 10 cards and let's see what they may suggest and here we have a moment of choice as a possibility for you so we got the lover i haven't had the lover card pop up in a long time which is interesting skill set you got available quite interesting as well money making machine to be built here by aquarius so i like it i like it let's okay this is a good spread i just don't know i want to glance at the ten of coins and then say there's definitely definitely a new phase to begin okay so we have the potential for something being built we have the potential for a very very new wholesome opportunity look at the world card and are you in frame yes you are look at the world card coming to us as an opportunity note look at the skill set coming to you okay as the four of wands here a money making machine the way that we understand a particular market how it works how it demands how we can supply to it and so on and so forth so i looked and i'm looking at beautiful numbers but i'm going to say in all of this guys before we even look deeper uh, the key highlight for me is clarity of thought okay clarity of thought look at the energies ten of coins a phase that completes materially a phase that is something that you can understand that you can go back and analyze ask how did this progress take place etc etc now it turns into a new situation a new situation that you would like to okay validate a little bit more because you have decisions so you have the two of coins here as the immediate action okay and then you end up with the lover as a possibility a choice between two directions maybe two job offers maybe two teams you know what maybe even uh two potential geographies where you do new business okay i love it the seven of cups as a note that we need to feel good feel good okay in the business sense here i want to say checking on contracts checking on fine print of some business transactions and validate the offers so you're getting offers okay it's at the end of a material phase it's at the end of a successful phase with the ten of coins here you now want to validate which one of those two will put you in this luxurious if you will um, lifestyle will put you in this enjoyment mode of what you do okay beautiful beautiful so a decision here consideration is long term okay long term absolutely because the emperor sits in your timing note and also suggests a long term vision as you make that decision okay and then we have an immediate result saying the knight of cups the knight of cups this is payback for hard work okay so I'm, I'm just going to stick with the idea that there's two offers here, two offers for partnering even with new customers, okay? Two types of customers, all right? And you're making the best selection. Now, on your mind is profit and the management of profit and the generation of wealth and so on and so forth. Hence, we have the money-making machine as a skill set. So not only can we put together a proper business case but we know how to actually take it to practicality we know how to manage it we know how to run this idea as it converts into a wholesome opportunity so aquarius the opportunity has the world in it are we traveling are we going global are you going you know what to a new location as well there's the offer there and there's the possibility that this could take you global how do you see the situation well we have the page of swords trying to find uh fine tune trying to really look at the details understand them and make sure that the fine print has been you know what checked that we understand everything we need to understand before we decide to take a move and also before we determine which is the better option for the long term timing note suggests the number four it suggests the emperor 
Okay, I love it. So we're looking at things that you are building with the idea that it's for the long term and also with the idea that it's for prosperity, financial growth. Here's the queen of coins as a potential purpose. Okay, I glance because where I'm sitting here at the studio in the shop, there's always people walking by. So I'm always being in a way, not distracted fully, but some people just wave at the window. So hello back. Queen of Coins as a purpose note. And then the possibility is the lover. Good. So choice and a choice between something we're more passionate about and something that also provides, you know what, good things, right? Good pay, good status and all of that. But there's the heart part. There's something that you're more passionate about and it may be even the nature of what you do. Okay. A lot of you guys are passionate about therapeutics, about healthcare, about, you know, what industries in that space. And there is something else that has to do with authority. And also a lot of you guys that are in these types of service or industries prefer to do the actual work versus to manage others. So I think that's the kind of opportunity that is in a way lingering around. You know, it's all about your skill set, but do you want to lead? Do you want to manage? Um, let's see what the other 10 cards suggest. Here we have that money making machine, which I'm curious to see what else comes around. Okay, so we got a seven on top of a seven. We have the fool. We have a celebration on top of your um, world card as the opportunity. And this is amazing, amazing. Okay, so now we end up with the magician. Okay, how did it all happen? Well, skill sets that Aquarius has, the ability to see past the present situation, the ability to actually uh, dream by day or visualize success, visualize growth, etc., etc. Now, on top of the Seven of Cups, the validation, it's as if you'll be getting hints using your intuition, which is the better way to go. Now you're fired up. Now we have the Seven of Wands, and it's very interesting that after that, just after the Seven of Wands, we now have the Fool, okay? The choice. Aquarius is ready to move somewhere, okay? There is that choice. There is that offer, and it may entail a move to a new location. I cannot escape it. As an immediate result here, as we consider the move, we also fall in love, but we understand the other party. And I love that. So there's the two of cups, which says you're getting visions, you're getting an understanding, and you're getting the validation and the feel good, okay, feeling that we were seeking to see about those two offers. You're going to choose in my humble view based on long term and it's long term for you wanting to do what you love, okay? The two of cups here. The asset available is the hangman. What a beauty. And prior to that, it was a money-making machine. So when I get those two together, what I could say is, things okay may appear a certain way to some people okay a particular offer may appear a certain way may appear lacking in status may appear missing this component if you compare it to another offer however the way that you are seeing this offer where you are applying a lot of your passion and your love for something that you do is different and you may be thinking to yourself yes it may not be an exact money making machine but i know how i can convert it into that i know how i can manage it and i know how i can run it when you have this wholesome approach okay you're getting this happy celebratory energy as the opportunity approaches and from you know what a point of inner strength you are now manifesting global success here comes another two a two of wands saying choose what excites you choose what truly speaks to your heart's desire because when you love what you do and you know what happens it loves you back it loves you back like this hangman here there may be a little bit of uh, disparity between the two offers but maybe one comes in a space in an area in a location where you will personally okay blossom and and prosper so that is a consideration don't take only marwan's word for it check in with a mentor check in with someone who has your best interest at heart but i see advancement with logic here okay so the way you're taking one of those is via an eight of swords energy advancing with facts with recent data so that you're making the best most informed decision possible 
And the purpose here is collaboration. It's creating something new, guys. Collaboration, yes, but creating something new. Creating something new also in the financial department as we build on the three of coins. All right, all right. And as a possibility, we have a nine of wands. It's like we're saying, this is so near. Choose the best by following your passion and also being practical as you follow your passion, Aquarius. I love it. I love it. All righty. So just for fun, three more cards and let's say an energy to let go of, an energy to embrace more of, and again, another best path forward. But I'm seeing two offers. I'm seeing one of them potentially taking you to a new location. I'm seeing that new location with the world card here as something that makes you feel happy. It really means a phase and a new page has turned. All right, all right. What to let go of, Aquarius, the King of Cups. Okay, we'll talk about the King of Cups. The King of Cups is... Uh, how do I say this now that I've been talking about your passion and the love and all of that? It's really, they're emotional. Okay, the element is water. So we're letting go of emotional attachments sometimes, okay, to pursue a better, a better career. So at times we have to put things in their perspective in the proper place. So big big emotional attachments is something that we're being asked to not shy away from but really manage okay i'm not going to say let go but i'm going to say manage okay continue to act with the eight of swords um, mindset continue to act with the open-mindedness of the hangman okay who could see still profit in different ways um all righty an area something to embrace more of the wholesome and the wholesome kind of opportunities that present. Okay, so six sides to that Ace of Cups. That is a, okay, a feeling that is also validated. That is a thought, an idea that also has others input, okay, involved and considered. So maybe the checking in a little bit again with a mentor, someone like a magician, someone who can solve problems, someone who's also in a good space themselves, so they can actually best advise you. Best path forward here, King of Wands, taking chances, taking a little bit of a chance, okay? Business, calculate a chance, Aquarius. You're going to be taking a chance. You're accepting or you are dealing with one of those two offers, right? One of them presents something you are absolutely passionate about. The other presents something good, but may come with more managerial, more administrative type duties, type roles. It may put you in actually a close circle of executives. Now, you're choosing not necessarily with the emotion of, I'm doing away with the King of Cups, you know. No, you're choosing with, does this make sense? Does it add up? I got the King of Wands for you at the end here as a best path. I had the Four of Wands for you as a skill set, the ability to generate and make money in a steady and consistent way. What's left is really being at the right environment. And I believe we have that. We got an opportunity note here with the World Card Aquarius. So guys, this was our reading, which I hope you guys liked. Let me know what you thought. And as always, Aquarius, you guys should know we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.